going on guys welcome back to the channel or oh, welcome this is your first time here i had this huge box back here so i thought i would set that up and put a target on that and we talked today about instinctive shooting or point shooting you know like pointing your finger most people when they think about instinctive shooting they think about bringing the handgun out of the holster and thrusting that forward towards a target and that can work with a lot of practice however without a lot of practice or you're in a lot of stress a lot of times even if you are, even if you are well practiced you will still shoot low because you thrust that forward and pull that trigger as fast as you can you're going to shoot low plus at the same time you're going to be making yourself a smaller target or at least trying to so you're going to be like so it's going to come out of the holster and you're going to pull out and you're going to come down to make yourself a smaller target instinctively because that's what you do if someone is shooting at you you're not going to stand up with your chest blowed out to try to be a bigger target and try to make yourself a smaller target. If you remember, or if you ever played outside as a kid like I did, we would have rock fights. And when another kid would throw a rock at me or I'd throw one at another kid, that kid would go down to make yourself a smaller target and try to get away because it hurts. It's like being shot and will hurt. So instinctively, you're going to make yourself a smaller target. So you need to incorporate that into your practice make yourself to a smaller target shoot and get behind cover or at least concealment covers better but concealment beats being out in the open so you know when you're point shooting instead of doing this the most effective way and the quickest way to learn this is to bring the handgun straight up to the target you can do it one-handed like so to the target or you can bring it up and then bring this hand up to catch the other side to shoot. That way you're having more control of the recoil. Also, if someone is real close and you don't want to bring it up like so because they're too close, you can just bring it up from the side and point shoot. I know it looks ridiculous, but trust me, it works. So I'm gonna take and show you all here on this target and we'll see how effective that this actually is. Not too bad. They're all on target. Every one that hit the target looks like even one hit up here. It's a little bit off that one was, but still get right in the head. All these here is a kill shot. Through here, shoulder shot right here, arm shot. The side of the right side of the chest shot right there. But all these right here are kill shots. Actually, this right here be about right above the navel. So I shot a little bit low, still yet, and I think most of those was where I was uh, doing it from my, my side with the short arm technique. But the rest of these, they're all on target. Now guys, just to be clear, you're not going to be doing this, you know, for every shot. That's just for the first shot to get the first shot off quickly and on target, hopefully not every shot i mean if you was doing this every time you shot that'd be ridiculous it's just the first time to get that first shot off as quickly as possible because the first shot is what counts the most and you want to be as accurate as you possibly can and as quick as you possibly can this guy here or this woman or whatever is trying to kill you they're coming at you with a knife with an axe they're shooting at you with the gun so you'll get that first shot off as quickly as possible and most Self-defense shootings are within just a few feet, so it's not like it's long distance. But no, you don't do this every time that you shoot or this. You do just the first shot, get that first shot off, and then you empty the magazine until the threat ceases to exist. So it looks something like this. 
So, what you think in the comments below. If you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching. You're appreciated. And I'll see you all in the next video, hopefully.